take this this spin and go again. Yep, yep. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're stuff. That's a few grand right there, mate. Oh, I reckon. Can you Testing, testing, one, two, three. Alright you sneaky mongoose, Josh here from Cruiser Earth Moving Again. We're out at Sunny Harcourt today doing a job for an awesome client. Her name's Tracy, which we're gonna have a chat with her later. And yeah, let's come and have a look. Tell us about site plans. We've got uh, a few trees that we're gonna put some holes down for. We've already got an existing rock wall that's been put in from somebody else. Um, we're also gonna do a big scrape here, get the levels right and get the falls so the water to fall um, down to the back of the, the corner of the property. Then we're gonna also do some steel wedging around this area and put some paving and some crush rock, um, some compactable crush rock, a spa area as well. And then what we are going to do is put um, a site cut just in here, just a little site cut. Um, and then that will be where the water feature will go um, down the track. So um, we're gonna bring in some topsoil after we've scraped all the grass off um, and lay some topsoil, level it all out and go from there guys. Sweet. This is Tracy, by the way. Oh, nice, to, yeah, yeah. nice to meet you. <laughs> what are you envisioning for the, uh, the yard? What am I envisaging? Lots of trees, um, grass, the spa. <laughs> That'd be nice. And the bike, yeah, so just being able to enjoy the space and having it look finished. Mm -hmm. So I don't I live guess. too far away from Tracy, yeah. so I'll be definitely coming over to jump in the spa and <laughs> maybe join a couple of bevies with her at the fire pit. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously uh, Tracy's um, given us a, a big rundown of the job. She's given us some plans to work with, which um, who did you actually use oh, for that? Um, Cass Ewing. Oh, okay, yep. yep. So, She's given us some plans to work with, so we've had a look at that, um, which we've discussed before. And um, yeah, we'll just go with the plans and make it happen. All right, quick explanation of what these guys are doing behind me. Um, based back off the, the plan that we showed earlier. So we're basically cutting all this grass off at the moment, making a fall. So the water hits the ground here and falls that way. Then we're doing the aggie pipe at the back here, cleaning this up, and yeah, basically doing a whole lot of uh, crush rock areas and steel edging from that the plan. So to, today, day one, we basically just get all this cleaned up and all scraped up, get the grass off the top, and yeah, make a make a good site. So what do you reckon, Jakey? It's pretty cruisy out here, is it? <laughs> More or less. Yeah. Well, that's why we call it Cruiser Earth moving. the other supervisor at the other job out at Mount Macedon. We're gonna have a chat with him um, later tonight to see, you know, work out some schedules for tomorrow. Um, so they've finished the job a uh, day earlier. So now, yeah, basically just trying to work out what we're gonna do for the next day. We've got one day to fill in. Come on, mate. What's that guy? Tracy. As we discussed before on the MMHF charity that we run, what are your thoughts what um, we're actually doing? I think it's amazing, obviously men's mental health, um, I don't think any of us know, um, don't know somebody or many people who are affected by it. Um, men obviously don't talk as much as women do and I think that's why the, the new focus or the contemporary focus on men's mental health is so important. I think it's a bit genius combining that with landscaping and yeah. earthworks and stuff because I think that's what's going to, I guess, appeal to guys um, and yeah. hopefully get get some more exposure and get the word out there on things, mental yeah. health. And prevention. Exactly. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Ah, thanks. Hey, Tommy. <laughs> Testing, testing, one, two, three. 
So we're not actually going to put um, plastic on this wall here because on the outside it's got um, the outlays. So we're just going to put a pipe in there, put some 20 mil down and then yeah, basically just allow water to run through the back of the wall, down to the back and out and through the pipe as well and then out into the reserve. How do you feel like today went? Oh look, I reckon it went as smooth as my hat transition guys. But I tell you what, it's only day one and we've got a, a little bit of progress happening. But uh, look, by the end of day two and day three, we'll definitely have some good progress. Um, so stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, we're here at Sunny Harcourt today again. We've got Tommy here whilst I've been away. Like you said, we've scraped the grass and the weeds off the top. We've reshaped this whole entertaining area. So in the heavy rains, that all falls down this way and into the creek beside us. Um, behind you is our next stage. We're going to crush rock this area. We're gonna have a fire pit and a spa area. A uh, garden bed's gonna come around the side and the next stage is gonna start putting some plants in. That's six. And where's the electrical? Is this where, is this, did he put this here for electrical? Or? No, that was just sort of drawing out the garden bed. So, but yeah, the electrical and all that's gonna be here, I guess. Or here, yeah. yeah. you can cut through anywhere, really. Yeah. So Should we start? So we you, we've got so we've got three so we basically spread it out started about here or a bit more about there yeah yep. with the the drainage up near the shed there um are you going to put the 20 mil in first and then a um like a, a topping over the top of it probably just use the top of my using because it's got no yeah, yeah. Well, i'll talk to i'll talk to tom about it anyway hey mate <coughs> oh, you know you, yeah, good. Are you gonna um, do a 20 mil underneath and then uh, 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 like a smaller toppings on the top over you? We got a, a 714 mil. 714? Yeah, so it's not, not, not a bad size, just to go straight on. Straight on, you reckon? Yeah. Okay? Oh. yeah. When you do stuff like that, mm -hmm. that's like more screening. Yep. And you want to, you know, you don't want to see the shed. If you're sitting in your spa, you want to have nice trees there. I'd yep. probably, well, they'll probably, they'll probably get pretty big anyway. Yeah, yeah. So That's they'll probably go about, let's, let's see what the, let's see what the width is on them. The height, three metres three by three metres. Yeah, well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, so if you can imagine it, so, um, yeah, that this will, yeah, they'll be two metres apart, but you'll probably end up having to, to prune, prune them if you want to own them. I, I think that, that's a good screening, yeah. beautiful tree. Yeah, spa here, can't see any of that. That's where you do a straight line. And then featured stuff, sporadic trees. Yeah. And that's where I think up there would be perfect for that. Yeah. This is a wrap for Sunny Harcourt for another day. Uh, we're going to come back and show you guys the, the final product, so stay tuned. Thanks, Tommy. No worries. See you on the next one. See you on the next one. So, last day at Harcourt, coming to an end. Tommy. <coughs> Joshy, how are you going? Good, mate. Good. All right, so give us a bit of a walkthrough of what's been happening here. Yeah, so it's obviously our last day here at our Harcourt project. Yep. We've Pulled all the all the grass off the top. Yep. Brought in 30 cubes of mulch. Mulch up here. Put a crushed rock path through as well. Yep. Planted a nice magnolia down there. What type of rock is this? This is uh, locally sourced hardcore granite. Oh yeah. As you can see with the man, man Alexander behind us, fits yeah. in really well. Nice views, isn't it? Beautiful. Can we just push some of this out to see if we if we need any more? Yeah. Hey, Joshy boy. Yeah, baby. I reckon we might need another load of mulch to finish this off today. Mulch, you reckon? I do. Are you going to get it or do you want me to? Um, we'll stay here and rake it all out if you want to jump in the truck and go down to ASQ and see him and get loaded up. Too easy. I'll go sort it out now. Done. Let's go. Let's make it up then.
Hey Matt, back again. Good mate, good. Just uh, another load of, uh, what did I get before? Oh, yep, that's it. I'll grab uh, three and a half metres of that if that's all right. Yep, certainly. Yep. Here's your receipt. All right. I'll pull that through to Gary and he comes through and get you loaded. Alright, sounds go. good. Yeah, so you've got three and a half uh, fourth prime bar coming up through that. This mulch is actually not a bad looking mulch either. Oh, but... I thought it was the best looking one. Yeah. Hey Josh. What's the matter? I think these tracks might be on their way out. Ah shit. Hey look what I'm doing. There you go. There you go again. Yeah, she's just been on the, the same spot. Yeah, you can see. You can see this just been a go again. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're, they're stuff. That's a few grand right there, mate. Oh, I reckon we're going to need to um, get this posi track sorted pretty quickly because we've got. Um, Wayne in Sunbury, that free landscape job to get sorted out. And this machine's needed there, so I might give ITR a call um, and see if we can get some tracks. Um, yeah, give me a call, yeah. Chris, how you going, mate? Yeah, so Chris from um, ITR just sponsored the, the tracks for us. You kidding? Yeah. So, you know, obviously he knows what we're doing with the, the free landscape inside. So he's like, yeah, no, no, I'm just happy to, happy to, you know, sponsor them all. So I reckon we'll be able to keep going for the today at least. Just to, you know, just do a little bit. We'll just clean that up. We'll just try and do a minimal maxi. Um, just because I don't want to um, completely damage it so we can get it home. Um, fix it back up so we can get it to Sunbury. All right, let's go. So Tommy, it looks like he's done some irrigation here as well to feed the, the plants out here in the trees. Absolutely. What, uh, what type of irrigation have you used? And so we run a 13 mil poly through the whole backyard. This is the 13 mil poly? Yep. And then we've inserted individual drip lines at each, at each plant and each tree that needs it. Yep. Um, we've gone with the drip line because we're, we're being water conservative. We're coming in the summer, so just to make sure that all the trees stay alive during the hot, hot season. Copy that. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Gonna come and have a look. Go through the job. Do you like it? Yeah. Uh, obviously, we've got to you know trim it up a bit just to to make it you know connect to the path. Yeah. You, you happy with everything so far? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just to mulch up. Down the back mulch there. Mulch up to the edge. Yep, mulch yeah. all around there. Yep. Um, place the sleepers in. Oh, yep, yep. And in. Bring the thicker granite for through here. Yep, level um, that out, spread it out. Do it probably a bit more around the lemon tree. I just got to touch base with like that. Yeah. But yep. all that stuff can wait. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, look, so, yeah. yeah, obviously we just trimmed it up a bit. Um, like, you know, just to sort of cut it so it wasn't so dramatic. Um, but yeah, I would recommend putting some sort of, you know, retaining wall or something like that here. Yeah. yeah, here I reckon what we could do is, you know, we'll just dig out a bit of a hole here and there. I didn't want to dig too much down too because I was aware that there was power coming from the house yeah. to the shed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, yeah, no. as I said, you know, um, when we come back, 
we'll, uh, you know, we can probably put place some big boulder rocks in between, yeah. and then you can probably bark it and put some plants in here as yeah. well if you wanted to. Yeah. Similar to what this side. That was part of the play that this would all be mulched. Yeah. 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 I can't wait to get the, you know, the fire pit area in and That's start easy. here. Yeah, I'd, Why I'd, the fire pit area? Just, just, just to finish it. Just to buy the red gum yeah. seats, really. Yeah. Oh, well, you know how I was telling you about the railway sleeper mm. um, seats. I think that would really look good here. So, would have been good if we the turfed grass. it. Yeah, yeah I know. Because just to finish it off. God, it would have been a lot of money. Oh, it is. It, yeah, it is, it is fair bit. But, yeah. um, look, you know, seed it, see how it goes. If it doesn't work, then we get, can do it that later. That's right, yeah. I Love suppose it. better give you a high five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hopefully then like it. Oh, but I'm going to yeah. have to play around with this area a bit anyway because I'll get the plumber and the electrician in once I've chosen the spa yep. to do all, to get ready for it. Yeah, there. that's right. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. still a bit of... Nothing yeah. else is urgent for you to come back, but if you want to, if you just have a weird day where you've got Stop a day or two free, yeah. just let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that'll make it happen for you. Yeah. All right, I suppose... Uh, Thank you again. Thanks so much. Oh, oh. I appreciate gotcha. it. <laughs> this is the end of the Harcourt project. And don't forget to check out our sneakymongoose.com.au to get our merch. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Boop, boop. Hello guys, it's Jovan and you know what time it is? Disco time. Stay on the next one.